Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist. I work with Motherhood Cradle Apollo and RxDx Bangalore. Graves disease and autoimmune disease wherein we see hyperthyroidism that is increase in the thyroid hormones. Now basically uh, Graves disease or hyperthyroidism is usually seen in reproductive age group and uh, it is it has to be treated with thyroid tablets, uh, anti-thyroid tablets. So basically that is what we need to do. Now the basic thing in a Graves disease or hyperthyroidism is there is decrease in estrogen hormone. So they indirectly have an effect on the decrease in estrogen hormone and estrogen hormone is very necessary for building up the lining of the endometrium that is the endometrial lining is built up over the first 15 days of a period of a woman uh, uh, which is helped by these estrogen hormones. So when there are insufficient amount of estrogen hormone in the body then definitely there will be thinning of the endometrial lining. So Graves disease or hyperthyroidism due to Graves disease is definitely associated with thinning of the endometrial lining and decrease in subsequent decrease in the amount of bleed but it uh, uh, but doesn't lead to any major implications as such and not uh, required uh, to do any major treatment as such depends on how the hyperthyroidism is treated so doesn't lead to a condition where you need actually to put on um, estrogen progesterone combinations or anything like that probably there is a little thinning but to a extent it doesn't affect uh, most of the times thank you